In the eyes of the law, you put the glue on. What this man does, you put the paste on, is considered vandalism. Part of the game of street art is not to get caught. But for the 24-year-old street artist who goes by the name Inksep, it's merely art that's accessible to everyone. You don't have to have, you know, a ticket. You don't have to have a, a nice dress. His work has typically focused on refugees. The mask kind of symbolizes uh, access to air. Drawing inspiration from his family's homeland of Vietnam. And he uses a mixture of chalks, pastels, spray paint, then silk screen. Portions of the ink goes through, which then makes your image. And it's a process he's always done solo. That is until one day when a dance instructor so it was a board up. I came out that passageway woke up to, to this on the like side of her there. studio. And there was beautiful graffiti. She brought it inside, saved it, and wanted to pay whoever made it. The problem was finding them. But that's the only clue I had. You know, it said ink sap. She found him on social media. He thought I was going to turn him in. Most of the time I get emails from people and it's mainly, it's mainly negative, so I, I avoid replying to stuff. He reluctantly agreed to meet oh God, and so the two cool. instantly formed an unbreakable bond. We somehow knew each other before we even met each other. So it was, I was unexpected. One night he said to me, you know, we should be working together. I said, you know, I've been thinking the same thing. I'm going to lack your freedom move. And that is how Project Us was born. I move, he draws. When I stop moving and he stops drawing, the images still dance, okay? And they dance on walls in downtown Los Angeles. Okay. So you don't have doing? another brush today, right? They do this part together, too. If you had told me, you know, two years ago that at 73 years old, okay, you would, I would be out on the streets, you know, as a street artist. What's up? We're out of here. I would have said you are crazy. Their story seems to have resonated. A documentary is in the works, and it's already raised $35,000. Why? The duo says it showcases one basic thing. It's a willingness to connect on a human level with a stranger. I mean, you have two people from different worlds. One is a movement artist, one is a visual artist. We need it individually with one another, those connections. Okay? We need it globally. Reporting in Los Angeles. It's not just the art, it's the story and the heart behind it. I'm Chris Welch. Breathing. Breathing.